So question four is similar to question three, but because it says prove that, you know what the answer you're aiming for is. In each of these, we have to set them out properly. You can't set them out as equations. And what we normally do is write down left-hand side equals this. There's the odd occasion where we start on the right-hand side, but usually I'm going to start on the left-hand side if I can make it work. So now I'm thinking, what can I do with this? And clearly tan theta is the same as sine theta over cos theta. And if I want to put this all over a common denominator of cos theta, then I'd have to times this by cos theta as well. So I'd get cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Always looking for cos squared theta plus sine squared theta because that equals 1. 1 over cos theta equals sec theta equals the right-hand side. And so we proved it. So the trick there was making sure we could add them together adding those fractions together there. I'm going to do B as well. So B says, so we'll start with left hand side is cot theta plus tan theta. So cot is cos theta over sine theta. Tan is sine theta over cos theta. And much like before, I need to add these fractions together. Now, the common denominator this time is sine theta cos theta. I've times that one by cos theta, so I need a cos squared on the top. I've times that one, you know where this is going, times that one by sine theta, so I've got a sine squared theta on the top. So I've got one on the top again, one over sine theta cos theta. And one over sine theta, of course, is cosec theta, and one over cos theta is sec theta. And so that equals the right hand side. Now, that's just one way of doing them. There are probably other ways, 